In this video, we will be demonstrating how to calibrate a torque analyzer. Uh, to do this, we will be using a torque arm and uh, our calibrated weight set. So first, I'm going to mount the appropriate torque arm, which in this case, we are doing a 250 foot-pound or pound-foot uh, torque transducer. So we're going to use the two-foot torque arm. This is two feet on either side. And we'll start with clockwise. So we have a balanced load and we're gonna put a small load on this side to get it exercised. Um, the first step is to, I just manually give it full scale. And you can put weights on to do it correctly, but the quicker way is just to torque it. To let it sit towards the side you're about to measure. So it's like putting roughly full scale on it to exercise the unit in the direction you're about to calibrate to. Uh, I'm going to tear once the, everything's stable. And I have the readout over here, which we won't show. Uh, but we have test points of 10%, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80 and 100. So using a uh, two foot arm to get to 10%, we need 25 foot pounds. So we're gonna use our class five weights and apply our load. And let it stabilize. And in this reading we get 24.04 foot-pounds. So I would record the first reading. Uh, and the second reading is 50 foot-pounds. So I need 25 pounds of weight. So I'll just demo the next one. and allow this to stabilize so it doesn't swing. So we have our two foot arm with 25 pounds on it. It should give us 50 foot pounds. And on our torque transducer, we get 50.08 foot pounds. So that's the next uh, reading that we put in. And I would keep doing this all the way up to 100% of the full scale of the load cell. Um, after we've done the clockwise direction, We'll take it off and I'll just set up and show the counterclockwise. Again, we exercise the unit in the counterclockwise direction. Best way is just to put full scale on it, on the whole system, but for this demo, I'm just gonna cheat and uh, manually index it. And we'll tear. And we are tearing with a one pound load in this case, but you can tear with a balanced load with this setup uh, with nothing on it if you want to do that. So I'm letting that settle and tear. And I do the same setup on the other side, 10%, um, 20%, 40%, 60 80 and 100, all the way up to 250 foot-pounds. So that concludes how to calibrate a torque transducer.